Now, here's one of several elevators that are on Market Street. They're going to take you down to where BART is. That is in a slightly different location from where the escalators are located and the step wells are located, taking you down to BART. This particular elevator is located at 204 Market Street. Essentially, you're pretty much right on the corner of, of uh, Drum Street and Market Street, or as I said earlier, Main and Market Street. More of your banking needs, you got Wells Fargo, uh, as well as about several ATM machines. Now the official address is 1 California Street, which as I said earlier is right next to the California Street cable car line, but they also have another entrance here on 202 Market Street as well. So now, if you viewed my previous videos, uh, one of the things I want to emphasize about San Francisco is that there's always more than, in many cases, there's more than one entrance to any parking garage or business establishment. Now, one of the other things that makes uh, Market Street special is these enormous tall skyscraper buildings that you will find pretty much uh, here around the financial district area on Market Street where we began. Uh, and if you viewed into my financial district film shoot, I have a link in the description for you. I emphasize uh, all the or many of the tall architectural style type of buildings that really makes the downtown financial district special. So if you're into architecture, you definitely want to uh, check out these tall buildings. Now here's yet one of many uh, photos of tall buildings that are here within the financial district area. That building with the uh, spike on it is the Transamerica building. As you can see, it's between several tall buildings as well. I'll, do, I'll save that for another film shoot because the location of that Transamerica building is kind of like on the edge of North Beach and the Financial District. So as we continue to walk down Market Street, uh, I'm going to show you the significance I said earlier of being on the sunnier side of the street, and the warmest side on a warm day like today versus the shaded side of the street which is going to be a bit cooler. Today on the sunnier side of the street this is going to be the even numbered uh, street blocks in terms of the addresses of the Market Street as we continue to go westbound versus on the shaded side of Market Street those are going to be the odd numbered uh, businesses. Odd number that is in terms of the street address. Now, as we approach the 300 block of Market Street, the first cross street running horizontally north of Market is going to be Davis Street. As you can see, the number is pointing to your right. The number is beginning 000. Now, Pine Street also crosses Market Street, but as I mentioned earlier, like California, it crosses it um, vertically. And I'll show you uh, the depth of the street as it goes westbound off of market. You see numbers beginning zero, 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 and the arrow is pointing left, going westbound. So here's Pine Street, and as you can see, as you get within four to five blocks on Pine Street, it starts getting hilly as you approach Knob Hill. So now we're approaching the 300 block of Market Street going westbound. Now, right at the 300 block of Market, uh, Beale Street crosses Market going south of Market. So, essentially, as I mentioned earlier, as you cross Market Street block by block going westbound, there's going to be streets that are going to be going southbound, south of Market, as they cross Market, and then there's going to be streets crossing Market north of Market. So, essentially, Beale is going southbound, as and I mentioned earlier. Pine and uh, Davis are northbound of Market. So block by block, one side of the Market Street is going to be uh, streets that are going to begin going northbound and then the other streets on the opposite side of Market are going to be going southbound. 